Hello, it's Felonius the old Jepper again, and I'm a bit concerned. When I'm out driving my bus, I see a lot of different things, and it get me to think. This special thing I'm thinking of is perhaps something that is nowadays. Back in my days, when I was young, we didn't do this. You can see them all over the place, at least in Sweden. People who are buying an ice cream or some candy or stuff, and then just throws the paper right down on the ground. It might be 30 centimeters to the nearest um, bin, but they don't throw it away. They don't. They just drop it. And I can't really see how can they be raised in a, such a way. Um, to me, it's it's something of of a civilization's decline to see something like this. Don't, you don't take care of your own community in, in these ways, and it's really bad around some of the places, like Crab Donalds, of course. There's always a bunch junk all over the place in every bush and everywhere. Back in the sixties and the seventies, we had something called Hol Sverige keep Sweden clean. It was more or less an organization, of course, that stood behind it, but I think the, the government had something to do with it as well. And every school class and every, every scout organization and everyone else was out picking up trash. And we got badges, and we got some uh, other stuff just to go around showing that we are keeping Sweden clean. It was a bit of a pride behind keeping our country, our nation clean. And we told each other, don't throw garbage on the floor, on the ground. Back in the 60s, well, <laughs> of course I want to remember it as the cleanest country in the world. But perhaps it wasn't. <laughs> I don't really remember. But when I see pictures from the good old days, back in the 60s and the 70s, I really don't see that much junk on the floor. Yes, we have the cigarette butts, they were always there, but they were not that many as they are today, because we have some ashtrays as well. The problem was, during the 80s and the 90s, when suddenly all the communities had to start saving money. And one thing they didn't like was to have a, a garbage bin on every uh, post all over the town, because that meant you have to have a guy emptying all these ones all the time. So they removed, let's say, 90% of all of them, and suddenly there was junk all over the place. And I don't think we have never recovered from that. And I still don't understand it. Are they really raised by their parents to throw garbage on the ground? That is the main question. Can't they really see that that is wrong? Do they do that at home as well? Just throw paper on the floor? No, I doubt they do that. But as, so, as long as they are outside in the open, they just throw it. And it's all types of people. It's not... Well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's not a race question. It's not a, a status question. Every, every type of uh, social class is doing it. It's something that everyone does. And we all agree that it's okay. I don't think it's okay. And if anyone throws anything in my bus and I notice it, I will be mad. But on the other hand, perhaps we could just drop it. There's no use in keeping a country clean if you, no one wants it clean. And, of course, today we have the, the sweepers back on the streets again, cleaning up. But we don't have more garbage bins. <laughs> And the big garbage bins, well, they do have a lid, but the lid is always open, so you can see a crow or anything, uh, a magpie sticking down its beak and getting some food. 
garbage is a one of the big problems. I don't really like it. Thanks for listening. Bye.